SMF MMT, this is part of what we were talking about, negative pre-announcements, uh, cautious guidance from uh, things like National Semi and SMSC. These were things that we had talked about a number of weeks ago. The thing about it is, is, is that you had negative pre-announcements from both Intel and AMD. Probably won't be much to write home about, the firm prefers Intel to NVIDIA and AMD. So these are some of the analyst notes out about the Intel and the AMD. Just remember one thing. We're going to have in this earnings season that's about to kick off in four days, which will be next week. It starts on the light week of October 5th. And one of the things that the SMF MMTs in the school is taught is taught is to understand how to take that earnings report that this long big rally off that September move has already pricing in the great news and a lower environment of growth. And the thing about it is when they fall hard from being overbought, when they find out that the guidances probably are not as rosy as they should be, well, that's the way it's going to be. There were other things that were in the upgrade in the downgrade list, you had Xilinx, Alteria, ALTR, and a couple of others, Broadcom, BRCM, that goes in this patch right here. MMTs, basically, this is the Philadelphia SOX index right here, the, S the SOX, the SOX.X. You're getting downgrades on Alteria, Broadcom, uh, Intel had already gave a warning. AMD had already given a warning. So has National Semiconductor already given a warning. And let me tell you about the old time school stock rallies. Hey, financials, chips, which is the socks, lead rallies up and down. Granted that the semiconductor index had gone, but we're going into earnings season. So basically there are a lot of, uh, that there are some downgrades in the semiconductor index this morning and we already showed you what it was and what it's going to be so basically by looking at that group if that group doesn't rally and that group is going to grow lower then that means that in the very current short-term environment we hit a trough and a peak in these earnings and I said that last quarter in the July quarter that we would peak in the earnings which we have I said GDP would come down to 1.5 percent they mustered it in at 1.6 percent yesterday upgraded it uh, or not upgraded it, but when the numbers came out 1.7%, those numbers, we don't believe them. And we don't. Because our stuff that we work with mathematically in our database shows a different story. And the difference is there is reality, there is distortion. And one thing about SMF Street traders, the MMTs, they deal constantly with reality, understanding when markets are priced in. Everyone wants to be in the market now because we have that big rally. Well, we're going into earnings season. There's going to be a little bit different tone then.